The Premier has appointed himself Treasurer in a surprise move that increases his hold on all state government decisions. Mark McGowan says the two frontrunners for the role are already busy. And there's a new threat to WA's coffers from the East. The most powerful Premier in the country has just handed himself the next most powerful portfolio. Mark McGowan will also be Treasurer in his new look cabinet. Everyone's very happy. Everyone's very happy. Health Minister Roger Cook overseeing WA's vaccine rollout and Transport Minister Rita Safiotti delivering Metronet were hot favourites. Instead, the Premier once again harnessing a threat from the east. This time it's not borders, but the GST. State treasurers in other states who are trying to unravel the GST deal. And obviously uh, we need to fight that um, at the highest levels and that's what I will do. It is extraordinary that the Premier uh, could not find anyone else outside himself to take on what is such an important portfolio. As the Premier picks up Treasury, he hands state development, jobs and trade to his deputy, Roger Cook. Stephen Dawson takes over mental health but loses environment to new minister Amber Jade Sanderson, also tagging on a brand new portfolio, Climate Action. Paul Papalia will take over police and road safety from new speaker Michelle Roberts. Arts Minister David Templeman adding his old portfolio of tourism. John Kerry gets housing from sacked minister Peter Tinley and takes over local government. He's the ex-mayor of Vincent. He understands local government intimately. First timer Tony Booty, finance, land and sport, Bunbury's Don Punch, fisheries, seniors and disability services. And rookie minister Reese Whitby looks after emergency services and racing and gaming, including the tough task of responding to the Royal Commission into Crown. Under law, it's the party with the second majority in the lower house that's deemed the official opposition. We tried to speak with the new opposition, the Nationals leader, Mia Davies, today, but didn't get a response, laying bear the difficulties to come in holding the government to account. The Liberals' Sean Lestrange is now trailing Labor's Christine Tonkin in Churchlands, while Nedlands, once considered the Liberals' best chance at adding a third seat, has fallen. The Labor seat of Nedlands. <laughs> Jacqueline Robson, Nine News.